Hi, I'm Tony Fleming, and this is Fleming's Ultimate Garage. I just pulled the hanging tag off of another great arrival, 64 Galaxy 500 XL. And uh, as we walk around this car, it has a couple uh, dealer added options, as well as some great factory equipment, and certainly some great color combinations. Um, why don't we take a peek at some of the detail? Now this uh, car here is owned by the same owner for a long, long time. And uh, uh, his family just got the car and they didn't feel like they were using it enough and they want to make sure that somebody else gets this car. So whoever gets this car, this is a car that was lovingly restored by one person, it was his hobby. And uh, uh, from, the, from the look of the fit and finish, the panels, uh, how, how beautiful they are, the trim and things like that, you can see that uh, this guy was very, very detail oriented and whoever gets this car will be getting a great car. Uh, part of the package here is that this is a 390 powered car, so it's the FE uh, big block engine from Ford, and it's all of what was based on the, you know, the uh, 427. All the FE blocks. Beautifully detailed under here, and it's not overly restored, and it's exactly the way it rolled out of the factory. It's got the factory exhaust manifolds on it, it does happen to have power steering, which is nice on a car of this size. You know, sometimes we forget to ask those things because, uh, you know, everyday cars like today come with power steering, power disc brakes, uh, ABS, airbags, all that stuff. And that's actually why people do buy these cars because it doesn't uh, have uh, internet access through the radio. You know, uh, you can leave work, throw your cell phone on the seat, turn it off and kind of forget the day and just move along. Beautiful detail here. Got the correct air cleaner. Uh, the engine's painted black, the color is supposed to be. Got the correct stickers around. Uh, this has been, uh, we have the hood light here. It works, but we took the hood light out because we displayed the car with the hood up and I didn't want the battery to go dead. Ford hoses, T-clamps here. So the detail stuff has been there. This is what I'm talking about when you're buying a car. This is the detail that you're getting uh, when you get it from here. This car will be ready to go. It'll come out of the back of the truck. It'll have a temporary tag on the back. It'll have gas in it. The oil has been changed. Antifreeze and cooling is good. Fluids topped off, brakes checked, everything like that. Lights are working. Put the key in it, take whoever it is you want to go, and go for a drive. Insulation under the hood, all nicely done. Let's check inside for a second, because the interior of this car is awesome. Check this out. So you get the XL interior, red with the silver piping around here. This is a great design. I mean, this is really nicely done. Uh, and it's Ford styling, circa 1964. And it's very, very, very original and stock inside. And even still, little stuff like this, the clock is working. You know how often uh, I see a clock working? Maybe once or twice a year. These kind of cool mirrors here. These are your rear view mirrors as well as they can be spotlights. But they're nice. They're not like these big giant police spotlights. And they look kind of cool. So they function both as, uh, as looks and as well as uh, safety items. Full factory gauges. Got temperature gauge, fuel. 120 mile an hour speedometer, supposedly 88,174 original miles. That may sound like a lot of miles to you, but if you figure this car is uh, uh, approaching the 50 year mark, um, it's very, very little mileage. Factory tissue dispenser, but you get that from the dealer. AM, FM, FM had just kind of come out at the time. Heater and defroster and blower all work. Great looking console with the ribs. Nice pedal dress up package, it's got seat belts. Got seat belts for people in the rear too. One of the great things about uh, classic cars is how they look with the top up also. You know, uh, convertibles are great for cruising with the top down, but they got a whole different personality with the top up. I love a red car, white convertible top. This car happened to come with two boots also. So we have a red boot that goes on that matches the interior, or we can put the white boot on uh, that matches the convertible top. With a flippable button, you've changed the entire car. This is nice. I kept all this stuff in here because I know it looks a little junky, but it all comes out. It comes with uh, a set of uh, fender skirts also, okay? And it has two sets of fender skirts and can give it two totally different looks. We have a painted set here, and in here goes the red boot that's on the car right now that I told you about. These are seat cushions. If you went to a car show, you got matching seat cushions to put on your chair. And this is kind of what he did. He took this car to car shows and I tell you, listen to me, this is why this is important. I know that this sounds silly, but just hear me out for a second. 
You buy a car from a guy who goes to car shows for this reason. A guy goes to car shows because he has pride in what he does. And when he has pride in what he does, he's not gonna show up to the car show with the trunk light not working, with rust bubbles coming out, with uh, dirty white wall tires, with interior tears, with headlights not working, or, or something not there. His car, he's going against other people that have the same pride uh, to show off their vehicles. And so everything works on the car. Everything looks good. And this is serious. This is like magnetic stickers that go on the sides of the car to let people know uh, what this car was so it could be judged. Two different boots for two different reasons. Original belted spare tire, jack and things like that. It also comes with two more of the original belted tires. These are not fabulous to drive on, but we wanted to make sure that you got those included in uh, the package of the car. And that's kind of what this comes with. And here, boxes and boxes of trophies. Tons of trophies, tons of documentation, things like that. It's just beautifully, beautifully done and uh, this is really very nice. Now there's a badge on the front of the car that I need to show you that's pretty important. To get invited to this show, can we walk up front for a second? National first prize winner. AACA Antique Automobile Club of America winner. It's even got a number to it, and it's a senior winner. Really cool piece. And you know what, this is a great driving car. Forget the fact that it's a show winner. It's such a cool car to take to the beach or at your house and a couple couples go over. And instead of going out to dinner, you know, in your daily driver, you get in something like this where these cars are kind of hold their value forever. It doesn't cost a lot to own one. Most everything's either been replaced or replated and you're good to go. How about I go ahead and start it for you and uh, you can hear what it sounds, it makes a nice rumble. You know, at the end of the day, there were very few big block 500 XL convertibles built, very few AACA senior award winners, and uh, very few cool looking cars like this that are fully restored and available uh, to you who's, uh, who was one, somebody's pride at one time. So anyway, Awesome, awesome addition to Flemings, and uh, we're very proud to present this car. You call us 301-816-1000, we can tell you all about it.